Hello, I'm Anthony, the Vehicle Hunter, and today we're going to be taking a look at my 2005 Honda Element. People talk about the element in that it is like the love child between a Mini Cooper and a Hummer. So it feels big and bulky, but it handles like a little Econo box. It's a heavy car with just a four cylinder engine, but it gets better performance than you would think. You just have to kind of rev high to get that performance out of it. Handles and corners way better than you might anticipate. And when you do rev it high, you can get some spirited driving out of it. Braking was never its strong suit again because it is a heavy car. Corner's a lot better than you would think of for something that's built like a UPS truck. It is the EX model. It is the all-wheel drive model, so it does have a rear sunroof, which we'll take a look at when we get to the back. It did come with a factory-installed roof rack. It does have factory-installed fog lights, which are an upgrade and it has 162,000 miles on it. It is the five-speed manual transmission. One of the few complaints people have about the Honda Element is ingress and egress from the back seat, meaning how the heck do I get in and out of this car? So I, the driver, would have to open my door first. Say I have my five-year-old back there. I then have to remove my seatbelt because my seatbelt is also attached to the back door. And at that point, a back, door pa a back seat passenger can then get out of the car. So it is not the easiest thing to get in and out without the driver having to inconvenience themselves in some way. That it does have a rubber floor. I do have rubber all-weather floor mats on top of it, which are kind of redundant because it already does have an all-weather rubber floor. You'll often hear people talk about, oh, you can hose out the floor. This is not recommended because this is not a Jeep where you have drain holes. So if you did hose out your car, there would be no place for the water to escape. There's no, there are no drain holes provided. The seats are also made for being water resistant and quick drying. The fabric was a poor choice and so most Honda elements on the driver's seat will have damage where people get in and out, so bumping into the bolsters. All the features up here are very easy to use. You have a coin tray, you have your cruise control and your fog lights. All of the controls for your heat and air conditioning are big and bulky. You can operate them with big heavy winter gloves on. Even your radio, very easy to use. For 2005, it does have an auxiliary input, so if you want to plug an iPod into it, you can do that over here was the uh, standard issue on the EX model. It included a subwoofer. You have the lights and then a storage area up in the roof. It seems like many of the elements were available with that manual transmission and I believe even many of the CRVs had the uh, manual transmission option. So although you don't usually see manual transmissions on um, vehicles imported to America, Hondas tend to have them quite a bit, as do uh, Toyotas. Another upgrade is this rear air deflector that did not come standard on all elements. So when I did buy this element, it came with a couple of, couple of accessories, upgrades, um, that people would normally have to pay extra for. One of the nice features about this is the, uh, they call it the clamshell tailgate. So when you raise this up, you now have a roof. And I can sit this down and be out of the rain or the sun. I do have this cargo cover, which also is an upgrade, so people can't see what I have stored in the back. Another option I have at home is the Honda Element table legs, which you can attach at these four points to your spare tire cover, and you make a table for picnicking. Um, so Honda originally was marketing this 
for like young men who might be out surfing or camping or hiking, things of that nature. But young men typically don't have a lot of money to buy a brand new car. So they buy used cars for, you know, under $5,000. So this element as well as Kia Souls and Scion XBs and all these boxy cars uh, wound up being purchased by, you know, baby boomers and older folks with pets. Um, so the marketing people maybe missed their target audience, but they sold a lot of them, just not to who they thought they were going to sell. And originally I think Honda thought people were just going to use these seats to do their camping. So these seats do fold down to make a bed. You have the sunroof up here and you can do your camping. I also forgot one of my other options. I have the sunroof screen. It's not a great bug screen because it only snaps in place so the bugs would be able to find their way through. But it does do a great job of keeping the sun off my kids' heads. These seats can also be folded up against the wall. You have a carabiner to lock your seats in place. So now that both my seats are up and I can put my front seat up and I'm a six footer you can see I could do maybe some better sleeping in here without the bed that was provided. A lot of people will make a little camping platform, put their sleeping bag, an air mattress, whatever the case may be. Most of it being more comfortable than turning these seats into a bed. Nice light back here for when you're back here doing your camping. My sunroof, moonroof can be popped open. These seats can also be removed from the vehicle altogether to make a much larger storage area. So a lot of people would tend to use these for their businesses. I've seen them for florists and locksmiths and you know, people who have to do deliveries or carry a lot of tools. I know I'm also a big fan of the Honda Grom and a lot of Grom owners are able to get two Honda Groms into the back of a Honda Element. There's all this uh, the travel on the seat, front and back, um, adjustable steering wheel, high and low, huge visors out to the side, got an extension on them. The dimensions of this vehicle, right there is an older Camry and I'll go park next to that. That's about the most average car in America. And you'll see the, the element is not much bigger in length than that Camry. Thank you.